Hi guys, it's Shami. I hope that you're doing very, very well today. Um, good afternoon, actually, because it's close to evening here. Um, it's almost six in Colorado. So today we are going to do um, a tutorial, hopefully. Um, there will be a little bit of driving a drying time, but we're going to use these markers. I was going to use watercolors, um, but I think I'm going to use um, kind of a supplies that I don't use often. So we're actually going to use these markers as watercolor, um, which is a really fun technique that lots of artists do. The first person I saw do it, though, was Alyssa bark and she has wonderful videos you can go check her out um, so we're going to use these and then I have a watercolor brush and a little container of water that's in a dirty cup excuse me for my watercolors so that's what we're going to use um, I kind of saw something online that inspired me um, so we are going to get started so I'm sorry I didn't have a video for you guys earlier this week but it has been a crazy week so let's get started so this is a piece of acetate paper and um, I have just some these are just like the super I think they're called super tips and they're Crayola and I have like a Crayola large marker too but any type of marker that's water soluble will work you could definitely use Tombow's or if you have the um, the other like watercolor markers those work really well for this too but I am just going to use kids markers because I just want to experiment. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to just scribble right on the acetate and that's going to kind of get our pigment out onto the surface. I'm going to do a couple of different colors. Hopefully this one works. Oh no. It's kind of lighter but it should work. So um, I like to use um, journaling and art to process my feelings. Um, my friends um, left this week officially, um, the ones that we've been helping move for, I think it's been like a month, it's been a while, um, but they were in their house for a long time. So as you can imagine, it takes a lot um, to back up a house that you've been in for years. Um, and it was just such a joy um, to help them. They are such just really nice people, really funny and just... Um, really special um, so it was just wonderful to help them <laughs> just a joy so um, yeah but they're they're gone like they're gonna be on the road in a couple hours um, so they're moving out of state so it's a little bit sad and um, I think that art really helps you to process your feelings we're gonna go visit them of course and all that good stuff but um, art is a way um, that helps me at least to um, praying helps me a lot too like probably more than anything else but um, art is another way um, that I can also process my feelings and kind of get them on paper and kind of deal with them so I thought I'd just turn on the camera and kind of show you what I'm going to do um, so I'm just going to take my brush and wet it and I'm going to add just a little bit of water to some of this pigment. Of course these will not behave exactly like watercolors but um, I just want to experiment and have fun. So we're just going to add just a little bit of water to some of these. But friends are not so easy to come by so you know it's it's natural I think to get a little bit sad and I know when I stuff my feelings um, then they can get out of hand so it's good to process things get them out deal with them um, at least for me so what we're gonna do is we are gonna make like some round like abstract flowers so I'm just gonna mix this a little bit and dip it in my water and let's see what we have so I'm gonna go here and just make like a circle shape nothing like fancy about this right just doing it I'm gonna add maybe that secondary pink color in there just to give it a little bit more interest but it's great and sometimes like if I'm having a hard day or I'm upset about something I will just like free write on my journal page and then I'll paint over it and again it helps it helps to get out um, if I need to like say something to God, if I'm upset about something, then I will definitely do that. And um, it has helped me a lot. <laughs> okay. So I'm just kind of thinking about my placement a little bit here. So I think I'm going to put one here. I think I'm going to do threes because odd numbers always look great. So let's maybe make this one just a little bit bigger. We're going to change the scale. Wet my brush a little bit. And I want kind of a variation. So I want 
some parts that are pretty translucent and then some that have a little bit more pigment just like if you're doing watercolors right nothing nothing too crazy There we go, and then let's do one more like down in here. I don't think we'll even let it touch. So we'll go here and we'll just... Just like that. And I do, I have this watercolor journal and I am super happy that I filled up with watercolor. So it's always fun. <laughs> when you make a goal and you stick to it, it's great. Okay, so we're going to just add a little bit more of that color there. Probably add a little bit more. And actually I have noticed um, the difference in watercolor paper. I really love the Stratmore watercolor paper and I was lucky to get a little piece of Arches watercolor paper and it is amazing the difference. Like you can definitely tell a little bit um, of the difference of how they, um, how wet they stay and how they take pigment. So but I love this one. This one I use a lot for experimenting. It's super affordable. Like you can get a big tablet like this for under $10. Um, and it will just take you a little bit of time to, to fill up. And I'm going to go ahead and um, add some splatters. Just because I like splatters. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go in um, to my greens now. So we're going to go ahead and just go in there. A little bit of greens. Okay, so we're going to add some stems. So I'm trying to think here. I think I'm going to make just thin stems. And that feels like a really kind of ugly green to me. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and kind of like um it's not a very pretty green I think maybe I need like some brown or something in there I think that one's probably better the fat Crayola one I think that's more of like a natural green this looks kind of like a neon green um, but let's see let's add it and see I'd have to add some brown and I'm just creating a stem there And then here I'm just going to make like a leaf. Can you see this? I hope that you can. Let me check the camera. There we go. So um, our friends... <laughs> <laughs> they were um, in the military, so they have so many funny stories about, you know, that experience, which I love. And you guys know, like, I love hearing people's stories. So it's always fun to go over and listen to all those stories. And it's kind of like a different world, right? So it's interesting. So it, we had lots of laughs together. <laughs> lots and lots of wonderful laughs, which is great. So... And friendship is just a beautiful thing. It's, it really is. It's a beautiful gift. And I am grateful that I get to have <laughs> with some special people. So that's good. So we're going to just go here and make that a little bit. And then I'm going to go in, add a little bit of water here. So let's just make just a few leaves come out here. And I'm letting my brush kind of do the work, so I'm just um, just pressing a little bit, press and release. So I press down on the tip and then I slide it.
that I have. It has been such a crazy week <laughs> for me this week, and I'm not done yet. So I'm teaching um, on tomorrow and on Sunday too. So I have abstract painting tomorrow, and then I have um, make, just making some more loose strays, and then I have um, uh, art journaling, which is always a fun class. So I need to do finish up on my lesson plan for that one. That one, I every time I teach that class, is a new set of. Um, of pages so we do like four art journal pages um so that one takes a lot of prep oration so i do an outline and i think of like four new journal ideas journal page ideas for my students so it's really fun though it pushes me um and it's really fun to try out new kind of styles and new kind of techniques in your art journal so that's a really fun um one but it's definitely um hard work to prepare it so <laughs> So I'll be up and then I make journals too. So I need to do that. Um, I keep telling myself that I need to make them in advance so I don't feel so overwhelmed when I'm teaching, um, when I'm teaching a couple classes together, but I never do that. <laughs> so just gonna do it. But it's great. I went for a mile walk um, with another friend, which was really fun. That was good. And it's just nice to spend time with people. Um, I think that it's a very important. And I can definitely be a hermit and kind of be in my own space, right? And not think about other people and not spend time with my friends. So it's good to to say, hey, you know, you need to, to get out. It's not enough to just be at home making art and doing what you love. Like, you need to get out and, and do stuff. So it's good. It's very good for me to get out and do stuff. These dry a lot quicker than watercolors, which I kind of like too. So you can definitely play a little bit more. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I'm just looking to see um, how everything looks to me. I think I'm going to add maybe another leaf here though. Just add some pressure, pull it out, make a leaf shape there. And then I'll add. Maybe a little bit of pigment in there. Let's make this just a little bit bigger. And I'm so happy for them. They're going to be a lot closer to their family and they have grandkids, so I know they're going to be super happy to spend time with them, and it's good. It's good when you're, when it's a good move, you know? <laughs> It'll be good. But I am very grateful for their friendship. They're very good friends. So, it's so funny. <laughs> so many laughs. Okay, so that, that one. And then I think maybe we need one going out of here, too, so a part of the gang right <laughs> very good that looks great okay so let's see here got two on that side maybe let's add one more leaf over here and next week I'm baking um, with my other friend so that'll be fun we're gonna make good stuff so so fun again another wonderful person that i enjoy spending time with so that'll be fun that's a great conversation and also lots of laughs <laughs> so it's fun it'll be good and we get to cook too which is fun perfect very good and I had a beautiful Easter. I hope you guys did too. We Catholics celebrate um, for lots of weeks. So five weeks, I think, is usually what Easter is. So we still have lots of celebrating. Um, the priest that did Midnight Mass, um, he baptized some kids. Um, and one of the things that he always says every year is that you can't get mad. You know, at least not the first week of Easter. So, <laughs> like if your kids do something crazy or whatever, you can't get mad. So it's really funny. So that always makes us laugh. So um, we're going to kind of let this 
sit for a second. Um, trying to think. I might be okay though. I think I can maybe mess with the flowers. So I'm just going to get out um, some pins that I want to work with. So I'm going to get out maybe my jelly rolls. Jelly jellies. And then I should have a black pen. Black, black, black. That should work. Let's see. And I think I want some more. I'm trying to think of what, what I do with them. <laughs> it would be crazy. Like, my craft room is a disaster right now because I've not been, like, doing anything at all that is creative, at least. We've basically been out... <laughs> this whole week and didn't get home until like eight or nine and then it was like sleep time so yeah <laughs> just helping our friends it's been just a week of helping friends so it was good just running around and giving your life for other people which is always good for me let's see here and lots of great food <laughs> Alrighty, so maybe we'll do these two. I do want a white though. Oh, I do have my Posca pin too. Do that. This one should work. Okay, so we are going to make kind of a loopy thing. So I'm going to start here maybe and try to think of how I'm going to do this. So we'll do something like that and we're just going to get whiter. We're going to make like a some type of like rose shape <laughs> that makes sense so i'm just gonna go for it i'm not gonna overthink it here we're just gonna go through and make it a little bit wider and this is very similar to what i saw on pinterest so this is not my original idea but i really wanted to try it so that's why we're doing it today okay so we're gonna go here and do the exact same thing I'm going to go outside on the lines a little bit. I think watercolor looks great when you do it like that. Do this little guy. And I'm being fast. I'm not going to overthink it because if I do, then I'll stop and I'll get stuck and it'll be a mess. So we're not going to do that, right? So then um, let's go into these stems and we're just going to like make, again, really sketchy lines. So I'm just going to outline them. I don't care if they go, if I go exactly around them. That's okay if I don't. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to go through here. And I think, unfortunately, eventually we're going to have to um, move out of Colorado, too. It's just kind of too expensive. Um, they just did, like, a report, and they said you have to make, like, $100,000 to be able to live comfortably here, you know, with a couple kids. So, it's like, yeah, it's getting just very expensive. Um, it's a beautiful state. You know, I was born here. Um, but, yeah, it's probably it's time to start, like, really um, thinking about it. So we're hoping, me and my mom are hoping um, to move soon, maybe, like, within a year or two. I really would love to live in Italy. That's kind of my dream. I fell in love with it. So I hope that we get to go back and visit soon um, so we can really, like, start um, that process because I love it. I just, um, I just really enjoyed it. It's a very, um, kind of more simple life there. And you can see that family and I'm sure the country of course has its problems, like no place is perfect, but, um, yeah, but it was just such a beautiful place to visit. And I've been reading a lot of people, you know, that have lived there and stuff. And, um, it seems to be a good experience. So that's definitely a place um, that we're considering. And the cost of living is, you know, good. It's affordable. You can, like, have a nice life there. 
and they have delicious food <laughs> and nice people too so it's good so we'll see we'll see what god wants that's the important part you know i can make all the plans i want but who knows who knows what will happen right but i think eventually we will have to just do that because it is it's just um too expensive right now i mean and we're blessed we have you know, like, we, we have a good place to live, we have, like, food, we have all sorts of things. We're able, you know, to do a lot of the things that we like to do, but um, the weather can be a little bit unpredictable sometimes, and um, the driving is crazy here. <laughs> There's just some things, you know, that, um, that, that are changing. And it's getting bigger. There's lots of people here. And I really like um, kind of small, small places. You can get to know your neighbors a little bit more. It's not so big. So we're going to just go in and do that. I like that. That's pretty. Okay. Very pretty. Alrighty, so I think maybe even here I'll add just a few little like, strange looking leaves <laughs> down here. Even do maybe a few little circle or things or something here. Just to make it a little bit more stylized. I'll do something here. And I don't know, I'm just um, in the point of my life where I just want a simple, simple life is fine. You know, just a really nice place to live. Surrounded by friends and I'm good. <laughs> I don't need anything fancy. Okay, so let's go here too. And it'd be so great, wouldn't it be, if I could, like, um, do workshops. I think that'd be fun, like, workshops abroad or something like that. So, like, art workshops. And there's so many, so much beauty and inspiration in Italy. Um, you know, it's so historical. It's been around forever. So, um, I was so inspired there. And I've been making um, just so much art that's inspired by my experience. So, yeah, I just... It's just a, a great place. But we'll see, you know, I would like to go back for sure and stay longer. Yeah, and, and kind of see how it is. Because it is different, like not really knowing the language. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, that's something to really consider. And I'm not really worried about like making friends or anything like that. I think that will happen as it's supposed to. So, yeah. And, and I like doing stuff. And so I don't think that will be that much of a problem. And we'll get involved in a church there, which I'm sure will help things along. <laughs> Very good. So I'll do that and that, but we'll see, let's see what God wants. Okay, so let's maybe add a little bit of this color too. So I'm just going to kind of go crazy and just do another round. <laughs> just go crazy with the gold metallic color. Just like that. 
And then maybe we can go in here and um, maybe I'll add a few little lines here. Since I did circles, I'll add lines with this one. You just never know like um, what your life is going to be. I think that I used to have all these plans, but now I'm like, you know what? I don't need any plans. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I just want to enjoy life and, and see where it takes me. You never know. So it's good. I'm going to add just a few little lines to some of these little guys. Again, very loose. I'm not being tight at all. <laughs> you know? It's fine. And I would miss my Matthews, but I hope that they can visit a ton. <laughs> That would be hard. I think that would be the hard part. But we've come see him for Christmas and holidays and stuff. And maybe my sister will join us eventually. <laughs> that would be good. Let's see, and I'm just gonna add maybe a few little like dots, stylized dots or something with this white. And, you know, the weather is getting too much um, for my mom. So we definitely have to make a move. Like, the air is really short and, you know. So, here. And the snow can be hard, too. So, yeah, so these are just, you know, things to consider. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. We can always come back. So, you know, it's like, yeah, sometimes you have to risk things. Because you never know what wonderful things can happen. That's pretty. Okay, and then let's maybe add a few little somethings there. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but we're going to just go with it. I'm just going to go in with the white Posca pen and just go around a little bit. The dots really didn't show up that well. <laughs> so we're going to go in. Let's see here. Very pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay. So now, I really like that. I think it's really cool. <laughs> I think it's very cool. I hope you were able to see everything. Well, you were, but it's really fun. See, so you can use markers and they work really, really well. Um, so really fun. Let me bring it up so you can see it just a little bit better. Just a little bit. You probably can't see it every detail but you can maybe see all of them and I would put the autofocus on but then you would be bouncing all over the place so <laughs> I will not do that to you maybe we'll add I'm just gonna messy this up even more the stems I want to add to make just a little bit more messy or even I think they look a little bit too contrived so we're 
We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. And I'm gonna make some like little leaves that are solid gold. I think that'll be really pretty. Maybe some dots too. Just like that. I think that's pretty, pretty earth even. <laughs> Very good. Maybe I'll stick one here too since it doesn't have any leaves. Let's add, let's fill some of these in too. I think we could use a little bit of darkness, just a little bit of black. And I could doodle forever, so I'm gonna have to stop myself. So this video is already 30 minutes. So yeah, I <laughs> stop myself. Oh wow, sorry guys. Always long videos with me lately. Very good. I really do have to finish because I do have work to do. So <laughs> actual stuff that I actually need to do instead of playing around. You know it's fun. Perfect. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's add a few more of those little guys. We'll add a few lines too since I added a few little lines. And I found more stuff at the dollar store for my cousin's graduation party. So, <laughs> more cool stuff. It's really beautiful. So, what can you do? <laughs> it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited for this party. And I'm cooking, um, which I haven't done in a while. We were in a church group and I used to do a lot of cooking, but I haven't done it in a while. So, it's good to, we don't belong to the group anymore, but it's good to, to be able to cook for people again. Like big, big batches of food and that kind of thing. So it'll be fun. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for simple things. <laughs> I do. I love. I love taking care of people. You know, and and doing nice stuff for people, which is good because I was definitely when I was younger super super selfish and I can still be that way but you know and when you're selfish you are miserable <laughs> and I can say that because I was and it's because you're always thinking about yourself and what people you know should do for you instead of doing for other people and it's just a miserable way to live so I'm happy that God has helped me a lot with that and you get happy you don't you know, you enjoy everything, everything you're grateful for, you know, and I still struggle with it, definitely, but, um, I think that I have everything I need right now to be happy, <laughs> you know, if I, if I'm grateful for everything that God's given me, from the littlest to the smallest thing, you know? 
And that doesn't mean that I have I don't have goals or I don't want to live a dynamic life. It just means that um, that I have trust in God and that I don't want the focus just to be on me all the time, which is really boring. <laughs> So we'll do that. Okay, now um, there is, I'm just going to like click. You won't be able to see that, but I'm going to click. Um, so because I am missing my friends a little bit, I'm going to write something. <laughs> a little quote to remind me kind of of something. So um, there was this song by um, Megan Trainer called I'm going to, I'm like, I'm going to lose you. And um, I just love it because it talks about loving people. Um, while they're close, you know, and it's a love song, of course, but um, this is for my friends, so that's what it's about. <laughs> but um, it's just about, um, I'll, I'll read a little bit to you, like the chorus part. It says, no, we're not promised tomorrow, so I'm going to love you like I'm going to lose you, and I'm going to hold you like I'm saying goodbye. Wherever we're standing, I won't take you for granted, because we never know when we're going to run out of time. So I really want to do... Um, so I'm going to love you like I'm going to lose you because I hope that that's the way that I love people. Like it's possible that you're going to lose them. So you're very, very good to them. <laughs> so hopefully I do that. <laughs> and I want to try to do that even more because, you know, they can leave and, and that's a part of life, you know, and people leave and that's okay. <laughs> but we just need to love them while they're with us. So, um, very good. So I'm going to just write it down. Um, I don't know how my handwriting is going to be, but we'll see. So I'm just going to go, and go for it. I'm not going to write it down before, which is probably going to be a mistake, but we're going to do it. So... So... And I'm going slow because I am dyslexic and I will forget a letter <laughs> or something and I hope that I don't do that. Um, gonna, I'm gonna love you. And I'm going to hold you like I'm saying goodbye. I'm saying goodbye. It is a really pretty song. If you haven't heard it, I suggest that you listen to it. And I love this song, too, that um, Celine Dion um, sings, too, and it's kind of the same kind of concept, right, or the same kind of emotion. Um, um, it's called Mama. I think that's the name of the song. But um, she just talks about how, um, 
how grateful she is to her mother, um, but how she has children now and she's going to have to say goodbye to them and how that's how hard that's going to be. So just this concept of love and how we move on, you know, and um, how people move on and things change and sometimes you have to say goodbye to them. So really touched by that today. So it's good to get your emotions out sometimes on <laughs> things that you're actually going through, you know, on an art journal page. I really love um, doing that. I don't think that art journaling is just about making pretty pages. You know, it's nice when they turn out pretty, but um, it's okay if they don't. I think that it's really just about um, just processing things that you're going through um, in art. You know, some people do that in music, some people do it um, in writing and studies, um, but I think that, um, that it really is just a fun process to find, or poetry, there's just lots of ways um, that we can do that, so art is definitely mine, and if you don't do art, I suggest that you try it, and art journaling is a really safe and easy way to do it, and there's no rules, you can turn the page, you don't have to show it to anyone, I mean, I show mine to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's good and I love to do it um, with my faith with my relationship with God and those pages I do not share a lot on um, YouTube but I really love that I love getting the Bible and getting a scripture and just seeing um, what kind of art comes out I think that's a really fun project a really fun um, process so it's fun And I'm just making um, some a little bit thicker. I'm sorry, I'm just fiddling. I guess I could probably let you guys go, but... <laughs> but I'm going to continue to play just a little bit more. In music, it's just such a wonderful way um, to find inspiration for your art. Music just... It says things that we can't say with words, or at least it does for me. Like, I can listen to a song and it just touches me very deeply, you know, um, in the deepest part of me. So, I love using song lyrics. Like, they just have a way of saying things, you know, that you need to say. And I know a couple this week that celebrated, get this, their, I think it is their 52nd anniversary. Can you believe that? <laughs> Amazing. Wow. I just think that that's so wonderful and, you know, um, it's a beautiful thing. I don't know if I'll ever get married, but that's okay. <laughs> I do think that there's lots of beautiful couples out there. So it's good to see their love and be a part of that, to be a witness to that. So I'm always happy. Very good. Okay, so I love this. I think it's so pretty. So I think I'm going to stop there. It's really, really gorgeous. So, oh, and I should put who it's by, right? Yes, you should put it who it's by, because that's important. <laughs> Let's see. Alrighty, but we're going to put that. Uh, let me make sure that I spell her name right. <laughs> Let's see.
Okay. Very cool. I love that. Very pretty. And we could even put some splatters on there. Which I think I'll do. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I have some black paint here. We're going to going to put some splatters because I think that it needs splatters so we're going to do this is like a mixed media page even though I didn't even mean it to be but that's okay <laughs> we won't use that brush because that's my watercolor brush so let's grab another one and maybe we'll cover up this and then I better get this video out for you guys it probably will not have a thumbnail until tomorrow because it's dark it's getting dark now um, but it's really nice gonna get a little bit more I want like bigger droplets not working <laughs> sometimes splatters do not go the way that you want them to but that's okay and then I do want to add just so this isn't so stark I'm gonna add just a few on the writing too pretty 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 and I did it I actually have on a shirt today guys a real one and I don't have paint on it and pants instead of my art stuff so hopefully I don't make a mess. <laughs> okay, guys. So that is really it. I promise. Thank you for listening to me gab for like an hour. Um, but it's really fun. And I don't care if these videos don't get a ton of views. Um, I really just enjoy the process now. And definitely I have a different goal for this channel. Which is connecting with you guys. So um, I love it. And just spending time creating together. So first I was like all into this. I'm going to get millions of subscribers and you know I used to get upset and jealous but it's like you know what that obviously is not what's supposed to happen with this channel so there's um there's a different reason why I'm doing this video so I hope that you feel the change and that you see it and I definitely want to build a community so we're going to find lots of fun ways to do that and thank you so much for being a part of that journey but I don't know why I said that but I've been thinking it so I'm going to say it so um it's really important to me um that I hope you give this stuff a try. I, The page that I did last week, um, someone on Instagram tagged me and she did her own version and it turned out so cool. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, there's a link. It's just my name, Shimmy Dixon. Um, but you can see lots of art that you don't get to see on the channel here too. So it's really fun and I really enjoy it. Um, and I really enjoy seeing work that you guys do that is inspired um, by something that I created. That just makes my day. It makes me really happy um, just to see you getting creative. So <laughs> thank you so much for listening to my babble and I will see you guys later. I will try to have at least two videos for you next week. I'm shooting for three. Um, it won't be as crazy. I'm just doing some stuff with my friends, but, um, and I do have, I mean, I'm teaching class on Sunday, but, um, but other than that, I'm working on some stuff too, but, um, but other than that, I should have a little bit more time, um, to devote to making more videos for you guys to see. So I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon.